In this video, I have combined two of the most popular pouring techniques into one. Yes, baby, we are doing a new technique, baby, baby, to create the stretched Dutch bloom technique. Woo! So we are combining the Shelly Bloom with the Dutch Pour to create the stretched Dutch Bloom technique. Now, Hilda Call YouTube, I'm not sure if someone has done this before. If they have, here is your credit. I have not seen it, but I was inspired by a few artists and we'll talk about them in just a moment. Let's paint. Welcome to the Feel Good Porn Station. This is Garrett Brown Art Studio. Let's do this time. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is my pillow paint. And it's purchased at Home Depot. These are my colors. I'm gonna show you how I made these colors on the screen. And um, I have used an untinted house paint, a base C, okay? I will be showing you all my latest and greatest bloom pouring medium in the upcoming video after this one um, but yes this is blue black by pebio this is um, a color shift and we've just moved to our paints gray by golden really really good quality top-notch tier paint and here we have our amsterdam so let me set the scene up as we go along here I've been inspired by several artists um, I won't say that I was looking to create something new and quite frankly someone else may have done this I just have not seen it this is a variation of a bloom and this can be super helpful if you struggle with blowing blooms out so I was inspired one by Jessica Winnerstrom, one of my favorite fluid acrylic artists I will link her channel below she has been laying out her colors with a paint scraper so i decided to do this because what i'm trying to do if you magnify a dutch pour to where you start with the hair dryer you will see that all of the colors um are on top of the pillow the pillow really isn't exposed until you get towards the end of those gorgeous blooms that you're making with your hair dryer so that is the effect that I'm going for and you start to see cells here and there and so I'm going to use my regular cell activator to create those cells and then we're going to actually stretch and tilt so we're magnifying the Dutch pour using the bloom recipe to get something similar does that make sense if not just keep watching <laughs> So you will see that I'm adding um, quite a big layer of paint here because I don't want my pillow to show through. Like if a little bit of the pillow is peeking through, that's fine. But I really want to capture these colors as they mix together.
So I added um, some quinacridone nicoizo gold because this is mixed up for another project. And y'all know this is one of my favorite colors. So this was just a last minute addition. You're not going to see a lot of it in the painting. I have another hack for our cell activator and how you can make it last twice as long for half the cost. Let's do it. So if you check out my last video, I made this bloom with American Floetrol and Amsterdam Titanium White. Look at those cells. Okay, so the hack is I mixed my leftover Floetrol with the water and the titanium white with my Australian version, okay? I only put one fourth of the Australian version with the American Flowchart version and you will see that I got great results. So I have done this before and I've known this, but I don't think I've shared it. You can mix the two cell activators. The recipe is nearly the same. All right. And it it really works. Like, I wouldn't be telling you this if I haven't done it. Um, or I would tell you that this was an experiment. But I've done this several times. And it really, truly does work. So you can do that to stretch out your cell activator. Just do one to one. So mix up your both of your cell activators um, with the American, with the Australian. Mix it together. And watch me blow. Watch me blow. Now, with the Dutch pour, if you notice when Dutch pours are done, you have a little bit of leeway with going over one part, you know, a time or two with the hairdryer trying to get the composition that you want. And that's what we do here in our stretch Dutch bloom pour. So it gives you a little cushion. It gives you a little bit of room for error. Whereas with blooms, once you kind of blow it out, that's it. All right, so I want you to look as I do my next blowout. You see the white starts to show up at the end. And now I'm kind of going over an area that I've already done. And we just blew over those cells and created more cells. And so don't you see that Dutch pour look? I love that. And we see how all of our colors mix together and our pillow paint begins to be exposed the farther we go out. So I'm just gonna play a little bit more before I actually blow out the other side. So just like in a Dutch pour, you do both sides. That's exactly what I'm doing here too. All right, ladies and gentlemen, check out my cells. And all of that white area in between is cell activator. Um, now, one thing I will say that is more of an experiment is that I find that I have less crevices and cracks when I use um, no house paint. Now, I've gotten it down to the science where I don't get cracks much, but you will see that I left a lot of paint on the canvas, and 
it did give us some small rivets, but not that much. It's not really noticeable after you put a coat of varnish on the top. Um, so you're going to see a lot of leftover cell activator and it actually dries well. I just love how the colors have mixed together, but they haven't gotten muddy. Um, I'm going to create a few more cells with my straw. This is an experiment to see if the cells would dry well, um, since there's so much cell activator left. So I just poke a few uh, holes, if you will, into the paint. If you're looking for the cell activator hack in this video, you missed it. It was at the beginning of the video. Just for one though. All right, so as I make some additional um, tilts and turns, I want you to look at the blue-black, and you can see how I've stretched out that cell activator. That's what I want to do. So I want to do this on a larger canvas next time um, to see what it looks like if I was able to continue to blow out further and further, if there was more canvas, and how that white would come back into the play from the pillow, and just how it would look. So then it would look like a completely blown out, stretched Dutch pour, but with cell activator and the bloom recipe.
All right, check out the gorgeous finish. The painting is dry and it dried perfectly. In my next episode, I am showcasing my latest and greatest pouring medium for blooms. Go ahead and click the link here and I will see you there. Remember, do every single thing with love. Treat your friends, your family, and even your enemies with love. Peace.